Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can install WSL Linux system on a Windows to work with the Python. I'll be showing you how you can install VS Code, basically how you can make your Python working with the VS Code, but your Python will be running in the WSL. So if you don't know about the WSL, so WSL is actually a method in the Windows where you can run your code like in Linux. So the WSL means Windows subsystem for the Linux. Basically, basically behind the scene, there would be a Linux system which will be running like Ubuntu. And uh, you can do your coding in the Ubuntu or you can say that in the Linux subsystem. But uh, overall front end system will be the Windows there itself. All right. Before getting started, you have to make sure that you have Visual C++ redistributable. So you need to come here, you need to make sure that you have installed the latest version of the Microsoft Visual C++ compiler. Oh, sorry. All right. Once you have C++ compiler, you have to also make sure that you have uh, VS Code installed. You can search here VS Code. All right. Then come here and thereafter download it for Windows or uh, any other system. Basically, obviously you are using a Windows, so download it for Windows. All right. Now let's go ahead and get started with the WSL installation. So the first of all, you need to open your terminal. Thereafter, you need to write here WSL hyphen install D. That is the distributed uh, distributed system which we are going to download here, and that we are going to download here Ubuntu. Thereafter, it says that do you want to change your device? Yes, I want to make sure that it installs here Ubuntu. Now it is going to install this. Depending on the internet speed and your computer speed, it might take some time. If you are installing it the first time, you will notice here that it has downloaded here some file. Thereafter, it has enabled here a feature. And then you will notice that it is saying here that this change which is made here, this will take effect only after, only after system is rebooted. So while installing, it has failed because uh, this feature was already enabled, but uh, it needed here a restart. This was the one way. Other way, you can come here and thereafter you can search here, turn on and off Windows features. You need to scroll it down here a little bit and thereafter you can find here Windows subsystem for the Linux. Then select that and thereafter click on OK. It is going to download here. And uh, system, ha system has applied all the changes and thereafter again it is asking that we need to reboot our system here. All right, so now I see that my system is uh, restarted here. Let's go ahead and see if we can install WSL Ubuntu here. We need to open our terminal and then we need to write WSL install Ubuntu distributable here. Now it is going to download Ubuntu. So the first time we saw that it has downloaded some necessary packages and then it had enabled a WSL feature in Windows and thereafter we had to restart. And now we are writing this command and then it has downloaded Ubuntu and then finally it has installed here Ubuntu. Behind the scene, you see there the, some um, uh, this this uh, uh, pop up came here. So it says that will come to WSL for Linux basically. And then you can also see all other, uh, you know, the Docker and the VS Code integration, etc. Let's go ahead and uh, close this. And we need to first create here our username. So this is going to be my username here, a default username, Lakshmi. And uh, thereafter, you need to select here the password. So I select here a password and then continue. All right. Finally, our WSL is ready here and now we can work with our WSL. Let me just take you through that, how this WSL works here. This is my username. Here is my computer name. And thereafter, what you see there in the blue color, all right, after this username and the computer name in the blue color, this is going to be the MNT, that is the Mount C users and the Lakshmi. So this is going to be a directory name currently where uh, I'm here in my terminal. So let me just show you through the uh, Windows uh, folder here. So this is a C. Inside C, we have here users and then Lakshmi. And then inside the Lakshmi, you can see all these the Windows files. So this is the beauty of this WSL. While working with the WSL, you can access all the files which is available in the Windows. Let's go ahead and uh, go inside the download. Then you can see all these files here. All right. And if we compare these files through our Windows UI, you can see here that all those files are available in the download. Now you can see that how good this WSL is here. You can work with the WSL. You can enjoy working with the Linux subsystem, but at the same time, you can enjoy working with the Windows as well. All right. 
perfect now what we need to do here that uh, first of all if you want to open vs code suppose that if you have vs code installed in your computer you can open vs code through the wsl and you will notice here in the download what you are seeing here all the files are available here all right i'll do the rest of the setups later on but you can see that you can access all these vs code from the wsl as well you can also open this vs code from the windows as well directory directly right let's go ahead and see if python is installed here so python 3 is installed here i guess yes python 3.12.3 this is the default python you can come out of this by writing here exit but here what i want here instead of going through the default python i want to install here the anaconda so you need to write there anaconda download then go on the download now we need to install here for the linux subsystem here basically all right so these are the two files we have here you need to right click here thereafter copy the link address from here then you will get the link address you can come here you can download it using wget and your link here it is going to download the anaconda in the download directory while it is downloading now it is also important to keep your system up to date now we need to also update our system apart from that you can also start wsl by just writing here wsl first time we opened wsl by writing wsl install ubuntu all this stuff but once your ubuntu is installed thereafter you can just simply write there the wsl it will enter into the wsl mode here you can write there exit you can come out of the wsl let, thereafter you can write again wsl you can go inside the wsl let's go ahead and update and upgrade all the packages which came by default with the installation of the ubuntu i enter my password and then it is going to fetch all the necessary package libraries first basically these are like the address from where it is going to download then it says that i have found these need to be updated then those are getting updated in meantime we can see here anaconda is downloaded and it is sitting here now what we can do we can install this anaconda here we can install this with the bass and then the anaconda here all right let's go ahead and by the way see that if installation is done all right so what we see here installation is almost finished we need to wait for a while i guess yeah it is done perfect let's go ahead and now install our anaconda here press enter i accept the license this is going to be our default address home lakshmi anaconda 3 all right now you see that the anaconda is installed and this is the directory where my anaconda is installed here and it is telling us here to activate the anaconda base environment by default i mean using these things let's go ahead and copy and then see if it works the another thing here i'm just going to open a new terminal so that whatever i have installed that can take effect thereafter what i do i just run that particular evaluation uh, eval instruction so it says that here there is uh, uh, your cell name is not supported i guess i'm using here bass probably okay seems like it did not work or it worked i do not know anyway okay so what i have to do here to activate the anaconda i have here a command which i'm going to run to activate my anaconda you have anaconda 3 bin conda in it and the bass with this we can activate our anaconda we just simply run this thereafter we have activated our anaconda we can inspect this particular file here so i can just show you this file cat and this file in this file you notice here your anaconda is there thereafter you can simply write an anaconda in it in fact that part we have already done the another thing you will notice here the base is already activated there all right once base is activated everything is here up to date now you can work with the work with the python here now what you do here you can just simply run python you can see here latest python version is installed here thereafter here what you have to do you have to install here some notebook and the ip kernel etc so that you can work with the jupyter notebook as well if you want apart from that apart from that i guess you do not know uh, i mean you do not need anything else that's all you need let's go ahead and uh, uh, go inside the downloads inside the download i'm going to make a new directory named as coding let's say and then i go inside the coding now if you notice that coding directory that coding directory is opened here i, I mean that coding directory is created here here 
all right you can open your vs code from here if you want as well otherwise you can open your vs code here so you can just simply write here code and space and the dot thereafter you will notice here that your vs code is opened here i say that mark done everything is done here once that part is done what you can do here you can create here a new notebook let's say create new jupyter notebook here but the one thing you will notice here since this is a new vs code it need here some it need here some extension so you need to come here inside the extensions thereafter you have to install here the python and that was also shown here so this is something which you have to install apart from the python you have to also install here the wsl and also you have to install here jupyter as well let's go ahead and see here if we have a jupyter notebook wsl and then let's see if we get here a jupyter so yes we get here a jupyter it is going to install all of these things here in one go all the necessary libraries we have installed here so you just close all of these things once you have closed all of these things you can let me just close this as well you can uh, press here control shift and the p with this you will get in you will be getting this particular panel here there you can write here notebook so with this you can create here a new notebook and in this new, new notebook, I say it here A equal to 10 and then B is equal to the 5. Let's go ahead and just simply run this. Print A comma B and then I'm just going to run this. Then it is asking about the Python environment. I say here that seems like it, it is saying that I do not have any Python environment. Uh, the reason is here that it is not able to detect here because I'm not connected here with any remote WSL. So what I do, first of all, I save this file let's say with the untitled itself then i click on this it says that connect to wsl so with this i connect here with the wsl so this is the first time it is going to download the wsl server with the vs code it is going to do all the necessary stuff there now you can see we are connected with the wsl here now you can see here how to connect with the wsl all the step which i have shown here those are just one step process you don't need to do those multiple times once you are connected with the WSL, then you can come here and then you can say open folder. Now it is going to open home Lakshmi. So this Lakshmi is actually your C drives Lakshmi folder. All right. I mean your users Lakshmi. Now inside this you can go. Uh, I'm sorry. This home Lakshmi is your WSL's Lakshmi folder basically. Now what you can do here, you can go back here. All right. So here along with this home, you will notice there is MNT. All right. So this is mount. We are going to mount C drive. Thereafter, we are going inside the users. Then inside the Lakshmi, we had here in the download. Then we had here our coding folder. So with this, we can open our coding folder, which is inside our Windows. But our VS code is running in the WSL. Now you have your untitled uh, notebook. You can just simply run here. It says here install enable suggested extension. Seems like some extension is missing here. Although we are connected with the WSL. All right. All right, it is not installing anything or what it is doing. Let me just see it here. Python environment, yeah, here. Now you can see, I can see the Python environment. That is the base. Now it says that everything is running here. Then I can just connect here with the base. All right, that base is running. Now it is connected. I can see here 10 and five. I can just run here A plus B. I'm just going to zoom it a little bit so that you can see it clearly. Thereafter, just run it here. I can see here a 15. This is one way to open this. The other way, what you can do earlier, I had like shown you here. You can directly come inside the WSL. You can write here code and the dot here. The first time we saw there, this VS code did not connect with the WSL because the WSL was not installed in the extension, but now it is installed. So we can see here it is already connected. And we can see our WSL Jupyter server is already started. We can just open and then finally we can run it here. You can change the value. You can run it here. Oh, oops. You can change the value. You can run here. You can see the result here. Now you can see here that how easy it is. You can install any library which is supported in the Linux only. Any library you can install in the WSL. If you want to work with the WSL through the VS code directly, what you can do, you can press Ctrl and the J. So it will open this particular terminal. Otherwise, you can come here, you can open a new terminal here. So whatever you prefer, you can choose one. Then you can work with the work with the uh, work with the directly the Linux subsystem here. 
there are so many libraries which installs only on the linux subsystem in that case this particular thing is going to be very helpful and it is going to be very useful all right i hope that uh, this made you aware with the wsl subsystem and you also know how to code in the python on the windows wsl system all right so this is all about in this lesson bye bye take care